Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to resolve some simple forces in its horizontal and vertical component and also if the force is given with respect to inclined plane, I will explain how to resolve in along that inclined plane and perpendicular to that inclined plane. Let us see some uh, basic problem. In this first problem, uh, they given resolve the force in horizontal and vertical direction. So the force they given that is 100 Newton and which makes an angle 30 degree with the horizontal. In the previous video I was explaining if I am going to resolve the force along which the angle is given that component will become cos theta on the other direction that means in the perpendicular direction along which the angle is given that will become sin theta. You can check that video in the description. So in this case they give an angle with respect to horizontal. Therefore that component will become cos then one more perpendicular to that that component will become sin. So this is cos 30 angle is 30 then along sin 30 so that is nothing but f cos theta and f sin theta so where f is nothing but force value that is 100 so 100 sin theta so if I do that calculation horizontal component that is fx is 100 cos theta cos 30 that we will get the answer that 86.6 Newton then if I resolve in the vertical direction that is Fy that is 100 sin 30 we will get the answer 50 Newton. So both the values are positive. So this is first problem very simple angle is given with respect to horizontal therefore horizontal component is cos theta angle is given with respect to vertical therefore vertical component is sin theta. Now in the second problem so they gave one 50 Newton which is acting or uh, that angle of the force is given with respect to vertical so what I will do is first I am going to resolve that force in vertical direction it is moving upward then I am going to resolve that force in the horizontal direction that is in the negative direction or leftward so angle as I said given with respect to vertical therefore vertical component 50 cos 40 then horizontal component will become 50 sin 40 therefore if I do the calculation fx is equal to that is horizontal component 50 sin 40 but I have to see in which direction it is moving so this is moving as per our sign convention upward is positive downward is negative towards right it is positive towards left it is negative so in this case it is moving in negative direction therefore value is minus 50 sin 40 so if I do the calculation I will get the answer that is minus 32.1 Newton same way if I resolve the force in vertical direction that is 50 cos 40 50 cos 40 so it is moving upward therefore it is positive so the answer is plus 38.3 so this is the second problem. So
so now our we understood the concept i will solve two more problems very simple problems so in this case in third problem they given 50 kN which makes an angle 60 degree with the horizontal so first i will resolve therefore angle is given with respect to horizontal so i will resolve in the horizontal direction that will become 50 cos component 50 cos 60 now same thing if i resolve in vertical component that will move downward so all the three forces that component and the force should meet at single point so therefore it is moving downward so therefore this component that is 50 sin 60 so if i write fx is equal to moving in towards right therefore plus 50 cos 60 then one more that is vertical component moving downward downward therefore it is negative so fy is equal to minus 50 sin 60 so if i do the calculation we will get this answer as 25 kilo newton then vertical component we will get minus that is 43.3 kilo so we have last problem we we have to resolve in horizontal and vertical direction so if i see this problem they give an angle with respect to vertical therefore first i will resolve in vertical direction if i resolve like that it is moving downward then one more component moving in the leftward direction so moving downward so angle is given with respect vertical so first component that is cos because it is given with respect to vertical so vertical component is cos cos 30 that is 60 cos 30 that is minus so horizontal component also minus minus 60 sin 30 so fx is equal to minus 60 sin 30 fy is equal to minus 60 cos 30 so therefore the answer will be so minus 60 sin 30 that is minus 30 newton then fy if i do the calculation we will get minus 51.96 newton i will take this type of problem so one inclined plane is given maybe a b i have one force like this maybe value is 60 kilo newton then here i will take 30 degree now if i want to resolve sometimes they will ask resolve the force force along ab resolve the given force along ab so along the direction where the angle is given i know that that is cos component that is 60 cos 30 very simple so 60 cos 30 is nothing but so if i do the calculation 60 cos 30 we will get 51 that is fab is 51.96 newton